So then we walk out, and Lois said, so she still charged us seven fifty for folding, and we didn't even... And I was like, well, we did get 100 for free. So. Yeah. Just got some new groceries in. Interested in flat earth. There's some good, good kind of thought provoking things in here. What do you think about uh, the idea of flat earth? It's not true. Yeah. It's not true. Yeah, the guys are seeing videos of the earth. Interesting. And they they going to the moon. Cannot be flat. Yeah. Um, no offense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna judge you guys. Okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna be. A discerner of spirits and kind of think that you might follow along with the uh, Quran. Yeah. Okay. What is the Quran? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You familiar with it? Yeah. Did you know that in the Quran it said he laid it out like a carpet? What? Yeah. Uh, For the people. I know the day. No, he's talking about it's referencing the earth. So let me just finish, okay, and then you can ask my questions, okay? Just, just listen, okay? Because you're curious, right? Yeah. So. I'm just trying to help you just have another perspective. If the Quran says he laid it out like a carpet, meaning the earth, is the Quran wrong? Is it lying? No. No, but oh. it's pretty obvious the earth Then he has a meaning flat. to it. Okay. Yeah, what would that meaning be? Maybe you could just tell me the context of it. Oh. How is it obvious? It's obvious that it's not flat. Because okay. we've we seen their missions to me, and they recorded it, and then you can see the Why would they be universe this plan? We? See? What's this we stuff? You did it yourself? <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure You've been up to the moon, landed on the moon, and walked yeah, around I and stuff? I've seen videos of it. Oh, videos make it real? Yeah, they do. It's Have you been up there and seen it flat? Okay. Yeah. Um, well, what we can do here, because what a lot of people tend to do is they think they can measure the ceiling to get the measurement of the floor. Yeah. So what can you just hold on? Okay. I know this is really difficult, but you got to allow me some, I, yeah. some I, opportunity to convey and then you can have a response. Okay. Okay. So we have a lake that's behind you, right? Yeah. It's a body of water. We call it a lake. Is it contained by shoreline? No, but uh, it's not. Let's be honest. Okay. <laughs> Right. Let's be honest. Is it not contained by a shoreline? Yeah. Okay, so we call it a lake because it's contained, right? It's a small body of water. Yeah. Okay, so what water tends to do is when it's contained, it levels off at the top. No matter the different, um, you know, topography underwater, it could look like a, a, an elephant for all we know, right? Under on, uh, Lake Calhoun here. But if we fill it up to the very tippy top, it's going to level off and be flat. That's why we can use a, a bubble level to determine a flat surface. But I have a question. Though. Okay, so just hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in my opinion, if the lake lays level and flat, how is that any different than your oceans like this that lay level and flat? Uh, um, that is a very good point. So my question is, um, well, so, are you acknowledging? That water lays level and flat then? Yeah. yeah but okay, the so how does it do this flat. then? I heard yeah. a science class uh, something about it's gravity. It's God that making me do Okay, gravity? Yeah, gravity. Okay, can you prove, yeah, can you can you prove gravity for me then? Maybe you could prove gravity. <laughs> I mean, I'm not Albert Einstein. Though. You don't have to be. I mean... I thought I never did. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't think the Earth is flat. <laughs> okay, could you give me why the Earth no. is not flat? It just... Two reasons why the Earth absolutely cannot be flat. Well, because we've seen proof of the Earth not being flat. Wait, doesn't that, That's all we need. Doesn't What's that, this Lisa? Uh, so, yeah, go ahead, man. Doesn't the Earth spin or something? Allegedly, right? So, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. it's flat. Like, it's... Why would it spin? How does yeah, it, how have you seen it spin? it spin from outer space? Yes. Oh, there's yeah. a proof, actually. No, did you know that there's no twenty, there's no forty-eight hour video of the Earth spinning at a twenty-three point four degree tilt in outer space? I mean, what's the point of this argument, though? Like, it, though? We should worry about more important topics. Okay, like you what? Know, like finding help for people who are sick, but okay. Dude, where's, where's your table then? Huh? Where's your table? I don't have to set up a table. But oh, why not? Funny. You think, I in your think perspective, I'm wasting my time? I mean, everybody uh, is. Good so good job. Okay. But I'm asking, what are your two proofs? You gave me one. Okay. 
That was pictures that he hasn't taken himself of the Earth from space, like this, right? Yeah. These, right? Those are fish. What are you talking? Well, that looks they're, they're fake. They're computer they're generated images. No, they haven't. They're Photoshop. They're not real. They're not photographs. They're, okay, the I earth mean, is flat. Do you have a proof the earth is flat? I'm telling you that water lays level and flat, okay? But that, that that's one of the flat. Water okay, water. and so here is your blue marble picture with copy and pasted clouds that they admit that they do. Okay? Is there any, is there any chance what? ever in your entire life you've ever seen duplicate clouds before? In a one hour period. Okay, so why are these duplicate clouds? Can you please ask answer my question? Why are these duplicate cl clouds? I don't know if you have to ask NASA, not me, but my question is why do they have to lie about it? Okay, well, first, first, what I want you to do, okay, I want you to be an investigator. If you're an investigator, why are you putting this stuff back? <laughs> are you afraid to, to incorporate new information into your worldview? I'm no, pretty I'm sure the worst in that flat. Okay, pretty sure? Like, how sure are you? Can I get a water? I of course you can. Either. Yeah, go for it. How do you know for sure the Earth is not flat? The Earth is flat. Earth By is other flat. people? Okay, so would, would that mean like you're in a religion then? The religion, I can say it too. Kick it out for me. Earth's flat. How do you know though? Why do you believe? Oh. It's more it's impossible, but that's what God does. No, he didn't. He he made it a non-rotating <laughs> level plane. That probably goes on infinitely forever. So science is like... It's believable, but... Why would they lie about the Earth not being flat? I don't know why they would lie. I can just show you evidence of why the Earth... Okay, just one person at a time, okay? He asked me a question, okay? Answer it. Why would they lie Okay, so I don't know why, because I'm not them. My personal motivation would be different from them. And I would encourage you not to put off your moral code on people you've never met before, yeah. because there is evil in this world, is there not? I mean, there is, but okay. So you think I that need people? An actual proof <laughs> yeah. that the Earth is flat. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with you because you're not open to listening. I am listening, but I see, like they say, circle, but they showed us a proof of it. So can you show me a, a, an actual footage of the Earth being flat? You think that we can see the Earth? You can go up there if you want to. All we're asking is that you prove that the Earth is a round ball. Because I mean, that's what I heard. I, I never been there, but they could be lying, you know. But yeah. I'm pretty but sure the Earth is flat. Mars is flat too. Any other? Yeah. Place? See, Jupiter's not Earth flat. Mars How do you know? Not flat. Then I'm just asking you. you are they flat? They're just luminaries in the sky. They're lights up there. Okay. So you don't believe there's another planet? No, they were called wandering stars many years ago. But they just recently started calling. If you look at an old dictionary, they were called wandering stars. How come um, NASA just landed a rover on Mars? They they, if you want to believe that, that's up to you. But there's also information out there. Why would they okay? lie about that? Do you want to hear my answer or do you want to yeah. keep interrupting? No, you didn't go. Okay, because... No offense, you seem to be younger than me, and to come to me and act like you know it all is I'm very prideful. Like it, okay? Like no, he's interrupting. My opinion and I'm he's my is opinion. he not interrupting? He is, but okay, so if he's not, if he's interrupting, I he's go, not go. listening. Okay? Not and I don't have time for people that don't want to listen because there are many other people. Okay, now you're interrupting. <laughs> okay? Do, do you interrupt man in your own country? No, you don't. That's not proper. That's not proper etiquette, is it? What? It's not, but I okay. think gender, though. Yeah, that is, you know, interrupting you. Okay. So you just if, 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 if we're having a conversation, please stop interrupting, okay? Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah. I don't talk forever. I talk enough to where I can convey a message, right, go, go, go. and then, then you can convey his opinion, right? Okay. So you're asking about Mars, okay? Can I, can I offer you a suggestion and look up Devon Island, D E V O N Island. Yeah. Yeah. The topography of Devon Island looks incredibly similar to the pictures that they give us of Mars. And they actually show NASA vehicles on this area called Devon Island in Cal Canada. Okay? So you say the footage is fake? I'm saying that they test their vehicles at a place called Devon Island that looks similar. To the pictures that they send us of Mars. That could happen, but they still planets out there. Have you been to them? No, 
but I've been saying about it. Okay, but those aren't those aren't top those aren't places that we can land on you and me to verify that. Why people like Elon Musk spending billions of dollars? Laid out like a carpet, so that means it's flat. I don't know about that, but then you can't say there are not the planets. I can say that because I haven't been there before, and for them to tell me, you don't have to prove everything very. So do I have to believe them? No, it's been proven. Do I have to believe them? I'm not saying that. Okay, so if I choose not to believe them and I can give you evidence that they're not, okay, and that everything that they give us of pictures and images of outer space is fake, okay, but if you haven't investigated, how do you know? How do you know that what I'm saying and trying to convey to you is not true if you yourself... Because it's an opinion. I said you can believe whatever, but then we have different beliefs at the same time. Is there a difference between fact and belief? No. No. Yes, actually. Yes. What you believe is a fact to you. No. It is. The fact, the fact is, is that does Google lie to you? Yes. I don't know that. <laughs> okay. Can we, can we, can we say that Google, if, if you were to Google the radius of the earth, it would tell you that it's 3,959 miles? I don't know that, but it's been said. Okay. Let's say it's been said by your scientists. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it has been. Okay. So if the earth is a 24,901 mile in circumference ball, and it's 3,959 miles at the radius, we can come up with an equation, and there should be curvature drop of objects from A to B. So if we use the math, which we can create an algorithm here, a mathematical equation, to show that over a distance, over a body of water, we should not see objects 100 miles away, and we can. Yes, with super high-powered lenses like a P1000. We have done tests, flat earthers have done those tests, and we do not see curvature drop. We still see those objects over a body of water. So to have that ball there, you need curvature. But there isn't any measured with a laser. So what's the point of you proving the earth is flat? Like, I'm not here to prove anything to you. I'm here to I mean, provoke your thought. Yeah. I mean, that's what you're fighting for. No, I, I don't fight for anything. I, I, I can't fight for your own personal... Um, beliefs? No, I'm not. I have strong evidence, right? That goes against your personal worldview of what we were taught in school. But just a secret, I went to public school here too. And I used to believe everything about this. Yeah. And I believe there's many scientists that believe the okay, earth is yes. not flat. Okay, and if you want to choose to believe people you've never met before, that's up to you. That's not the thing. Why would they spend billions of dollars on a lie? Like, why would they lie? The they could be lying, but you can't say everything is a lie, though. Because you can't prove it by yourself. Does this place lie? Here, I'm not saying it's a lie. The problem is, you know, as far as proof goes, the problem is they never proved that it was a spinning ball. You know, they've never proved that it was a ball. And what we're saying is that water lies level, and so it wouldn't curve around yeah. a ball. If you had a ball and you poured a bucket of water on it, but don't the you water believe that God is going to be doing it? What? Don't you just believe that God is going to be doing it? Well, I think that if God, both the Quran and the Bible say that the earth is flat, the Bible says... It doesn't specifically say it's flat. It actually yeah. does in Jeremiah 11, 11. <laughs> yeah, it says the flat earth. It is according to something else. See, there's an actual view on YouTube of the Earth. It's not flat. Show that to the camera if you don't mind. Yeah. Camera. <laughs> yeah. You see these people? Yeah. It's not flat. Do you know what a fisheye lens is? Hey, no. You don't know what a fisheye lens is? Really. Okay. Do you know what a GoPro? Yeah. Your GoPro is? Did you know that on GoPros, standard lens is a fisheye lens, which curves horizontal lines? Yeah. Yeah, so could they be using a GoPro on that video? Mm. I really, I'm, I'm actually quite afraid for you to just believe everything you're told by TV. I mean, I have my own opinions on it. I know you have your opinions, but I really, I really caution you. Okay. I really, really caution you. This was a great I really appreciate you stopping. Yeah, so what we've, what, 
people have no, done, not even over here, not here. Just so what coast. universities have done is they have taken high altitude balloon footage at 25 miles, and this is what they see. We're talking about way above. 25 miles. Yeah, way above. Yeah, you can't ever see curvature. I mean, so never. Up space. No, you will only see it travel further away from you, and then you'll see it look like a disc. How did you see a No, you won't. Doesn't the sky look curved? No. It does. I'm so sorry. It's like this. <laughs> the Earth is immovable, non-rotating, and the Sun and the Moon are the ones that are moving, not us. Uh, you really, is, really I have to. Really I don't want you to believe anything I, I say. No you question. really have to just take the information. I have you a YouTube channel, leave. Authentic Intent. You have to. What you need to do, okay? Each one of you is separate yourself from your friends and investigate on your own time alone. You, you have to do this alone. You got life. Well, this is creation. I just live here. But don't you want to know where you live? I don't know where no, I live. you don't. You think you live here. You should worry about it. Why would I? I'm just saying you should. I'm not worried about that. It's my opinion, right? I don't. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I yeah. think I can live out here. If I'm dying, then I'll be worried about the earth. I don't care if it's flat, circle, whatever you call it. You but like being lied to, then. I mean, I'm just I'm living saying, my life. Everything is a lie. I can say that the majority of the things told to us over TV and radio and movies are a lie. I can yeah. say that pretty confidently. Mm -hmm. I sure could. Yeah, it could be a lie. Like it's not really proven. Well, the Earth hasn't been proven yes, to be a ball. There, you go check. <laughs> so, I mean, I just really caution you to just question when you do see teachers or university <laughs> teachers and say, how have we measured the ball earth? And I'll bet you, 10 to 1, they'll keep saying that we have pictures. Yeah. I mean, I would prove it, but I don't have the power to do that. Do you want to take my information, my man? Yeah, I'm going to take it all. Just, you know, and then at least, you know, throw it away down the road or something, but at least have it in your hands and contemplate on it, something new. Because one thing that I this has done for me is now that I understand the ball earth, I can depend, I can defend both sides. I can defend both the ball and the flat earth now. Like, I can defend creation and understanding of where we live now. And when you do that, you find out that that thing right there is an idol and it's not real. That's not real. I'm trying to take that away from people. It's pretty much. But not even go that's fine. Not everybody is. You're right. But all I can do is provide evidence to show you that there there might be something to this. No. Do you guys have any other like questions, concerns? Not really. But anything you want to bring up? No, YouTube. It's because it's because about YouTube. Yeah, it's my YouTube channel there. Yeah, go for it. Are we going to be on there? Oh, you might. Hey, let me go, let me go. Hey, watch out, bro. You got a shout out? Say hi, mom, into the camera. Yeah, right? Hi, mom. Hi, mom. I just want to punch a fact about the earth. How you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty well, thanks. Yeah, all right. I saw it. I saw an article about you. I did, yeah. Yeah, how about yourself? You were. I don't think I ever met you. Yeah. I'm Evan. Why? Evan. What's your name? Joshua Swift. Okay, cool. I don't think we ever met. It was a big school. So yeah, I know it, right? They uh, they moved us in well, for the new one. That was pretty nice oh, high school. Yeah, I was in the old one for half of my first year. Have a nice day. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Hey, Evan, I got some. I got a YouTube channel. Have you gone on it yet? Right on, man. Have a nice day. What's up, Connor? I'm wondering if uh, the conversation is something that you felt like you wanted to complete. Because if not, then my game plan is to head out. To yeah, side. sure. I mean, what what's on your mind? Probably going back to work, checking up on my homies and going home. Okay. Uh, you, you mentioned wanting to continue conversations. So what I'm doing is I'm allowing this space for that because you seem like a valid person. Hey, I appreciate that. What um What are your thoughts about... Just where you're at, like what is? Uh, being recorded. Yeah, you are. Well, yeah. you stop off to your left, and you won't be recorded. Fair. Actually, I don't want it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Go ahead. Cool.
Let's just break that open a little bit more. <sighs> yeah, so where what brought you to your your own personal journey? Uh, let's see. Like meditation and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, I guess, yeah. Stuff that I don't want to talk about while I'm being recorded. Yeah, fair so enough. So with that, I'll just leave it at like... Why don't you like you let your phone record you? You know, yeah, and I still don't talk about the things that brought me to where I'm at. You know, you paranoid? Not particularly, but there are things that don't need to be shared on YouTube right after I put my face on a video. Mm, yeah, I'm sure, you're paranoid. Nah. nah. Okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fine. Um, just, just private. Exactly. It's uh, stuff that doesn't need to be discussed in a manner that's going to be put into a space that is viewable by anyone. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So with that, thank you for the water. Take care, ma'am. Yeah, have a good day. Yeah, so... But that doesn't mean that she has to abide by that rule. Yeah, that's fair enough. How are we doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Can you right water? On. Yeah, of course you can. Do you, do you believe in it, or do you just want to like the evidence? Well, I don't believe anything. I know that the Earth is a non-rotating level plane. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Would it be fair that you believe that you live there? Yeah, generally. Why is that? Why do I believe that I live there? Yeah, if that, if that were, well, like, I just, like, think, Earth. like, you know, I just don't believe in huge conspiracy kind of things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people tell me I live there. Everybody says I do it. I don't believe that the government is really coming after us, so. Okay. You know, I think scientists... You know, I don't think of them as being any kind of, you know, big conspiracy, so I don't really see any reason not to. Okay, well, yeah. What if the evidence showed that it was flat and stationary? I don't think it would, but... But if it did, let's say, let's say hypothetically that you found evidence that it's flat and stationary, would you still believe it was a round ball because you were told that, or would you believe the evidence? Yeah, no, I'd believe the thousands of other people before me. I know I'm kind of dumb. So. Well, you're not dumb. Why do you say you're dumb? I just know there's people smarter than me. Could you say you might be naive and ignorant? Nah. A little bit? Nah. So is there anything that I'd you say, you know, what's that thing? Like, all I know is I know nothing or whatever. Like, so I'll trust the others. Hmm. Okay, Alright, I got a date, so I gotta go. Um, well, just trust your own senses. Water lies level. It doesn't curve right. All right Do you yeah, mind if no, you take some information? I would rather not. I really oh. kind of think it's kooky. I'm oh. sorry. Interesting. Okay. Have a nice day. Yeah. You too. That these are not like the exact locations of things. Things look bigger than they are. Like the United States, we're really not that big as we appear on the map. Like, it's really little compared to how they portray us on the map. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. What we're saying is not even a round ball. You think so? Yeah, we're, we're So saying. what about, what about, like, if we look through the telescope and look at other planets? They appear round, or like the moon will say appear round. Mm -hmm. So you don't think we're round? Hey. Hey. What's up, man? What's up? I subscribe to your YouTube channel. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Good to see you. Bye. Nice mm -hmm. yeah, nice Do you want some new information? Sure. Yeah, why not, it's right? Brand new brochures. Yeah. Here. They're really good. There you go. Check it out, man. They have a lot of interesting ideas. Did you know that for this country we have freedom of speech, but like in news, like actual current and free news for the world, we rank like number twenty-four. Yeah. So we're good. not even getting like the real news, like when we're getting something like a big scandal, or Kelly going to jail or something, there's really yeah. something bigger behind it somewhere happening that we know nothing about, but they, they give us that, and we, we just suck it up. Is he going to jail? So he should, fuck him, so he should, but... Do they yeah. go to jail when they say that they're going to jail though, right? I, I wonder that too. Did you think they really put Martha Stewart in jail? Did you? And then, all, then it's, I hear so much behind it. It's, it's crazy. So many yeah. theories. Right. But they, they said we're crazy. Yep. Have a nice evening. You. Take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 
you know, people who have less reason to trust the state are, are more, much more skeptical. Like, he, he was just, from the get-go, I mean, he wasn't particularly interested in the shape of the earth, but from the get-go, he's saying, I don't, I don't believe this stuff. Yeah. You know? Like, he, he was talking about how, you know, the continents are different. I mean, even if you're not even talking about whether it's round or flat. Uh -huh. And that's true, too. Yeah. You know, there's, there's so much deception. Yeah, it really is just, um... A really big leap for a lot of people to get past, you know, that not only is the earth not what we're told and the continents aren't where they're supposed to be, but now it's flat. Yeah, yeah. You, you've seen that no, Peter's projection, it. right? Where it shows, you know, uh, it's a different map, it's not the um, Mercator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it shows, you know, Africa being huge. Yeah. And the United States being comparatively, comparatively small. I don't know how they work it on the globe, but I'm sure this is not just the shape, but also the relationship of the yeah. different bodies of land. Mm -hmm. And, of course, this is critical little <laughs> I know. I... Body of land. You can have a water. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Do you ever go on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll just trade, right? Yeah. A water for a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Check it out. Thank you. Yeah, have a nice day. How's it going? Hey, pretty well, thanks. How about so, yourself? So, what are you guys here for? Ladder. Like, pro or against or? Pro. Pro? Yeah. Well, what do you think about it? I mean, I'm open to everyone's opinions. Yeah, okay. We got some evidence. Yeah, I think I so. I think it's cool. I don't know. I think it's cool to me. Yeah. What um what do you think a flat earther's evidence would be? Oh, uh, I just hear like anecdotal memes evidence. and stuff, maybe. No, just like um like people saying their expeditions and they hit like a ice wall or something. Oh, okay, sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's can't actually get around Antarctica or something like that. Yeah. So it's like anecdotal, but I just like learning about everyone's things and stuff. Okay. Yeah. If the Earth were flat, um, just hypothetically, right, would you think it's a disk floating in outer space? Uh, I feel like it would be like a half circle. A half circle? Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Like, like, well, it would be like... Like flat. Sort of, sort of like like it would be flat, but it would have a dome over it, right? Because mm, we okay. still need our atmosphere. Yeah. Here's a flat Earth map. Ever looked at something like that before? I mean, yeah, I like I like all this kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. What if, like, this is just coming from me, because um, some flat earthers would prescribe to an ice wall that holds all the water in. Right. Because we need water to be contained, otherwise it just goes on a rambunctious rampage and just right. floods everything, right? Right. But when water is contained and it's it has found its own level, the top is level. Hmm. Right. I mean, we have the lake behind us. Do you, do you see the uh, any bulge that's noticeable in the lake in the middle of it, mm -mm. or do you feel like it's a pretty calm day right now and there's not much wake, so the l top level of the lake is flat and level? Okay. So okay. Wait, so say that again. So how does the earth contain itself? Yeah. So if if there's more shorelines, mm -hmm. okay. What if just the oceans just have more shorelines that you just haven't seen? Because if you're looking over, so you look around the edge? no. What if, in my opinion, it goes on infinitely forever and there is no edge? But there's also a theory that there is an edge. It's the Antarctic Arctic ice wall. Right. That's mm -hmm. one I've heard. Yeah, but nobody's gone and explored this stuff. So people say that there's edge and ice walls and stuff like that. We can take images that we see on Google of this ice shelf mm -hmm. that's out there because people have pictures of this, right? Mm -hmm. And so we could see that, but I've never been there before. Right. And I don't typically trust what I find on Google. So I would say that the earth and water and land just go yeah. on infinitely forever, and there's just more shorelines. So what about, like, observable other planets, like, that are round? Mm -hmm. There is. It's just the exceptions. Sorry, I'll stay in. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Um, do you have your phone on you? Okay. Do you mind? I love doing this with people. Okay.
because it's Why just... Why are you trying to pull my leg, though? Well, a little bit, because it's fun because of the vernacular you use, okay? Okay, what do you So do? go to Amazon.com, real yep. quick. Are you there? Yes. Okay, type in round table. Okay. I'll buy every spherical table that you see. So you're saying, are we looking at the moon... It's like flat facing us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have a question, and this is totally. I'm not. I'm not. You won't offend. No, Speak I'm not. Freely. I don't, I'm genuinely don't have an opinion. Okay. Yeah. But um, what like what's what's the what's the hope in like convincing people that they're at this spot? Just out of curiosity. Well, it's not so much like a, getting people more aware. Yeah, it, it is that. It is getting people more aware of the other other side of it, right? Yeah. And then Pun what's, intended. Yeah, <laughs> and then what's like, what's the hopeful outcome? Just that people like start thinking for themselves, or it's a good. Themselves? That's a good start. Yeah. Where did you first hear about the globular Earth? Um, probably like the dark webs of YouTube. I don't know. I like learning about different people's um, opinions on things or whatever. Like I think I was like looking into the sun or something. Well, I, let me reiterate. Where did you first see that? Yeah, like, what, when round. Yeah, where did you... Oh, I said when I first learned about the flat earth. No, oh. no, where did you first hear about that? The glob. Like, how did you learn it um, Did you learn it on your own, or what do you think? Yeah, I guess, probably. Really? I mean, I, I was going to say, I probably saw one of these multiple. Yeah. yeah it's like, will, that's yeah. what you're shown. Mm -hmm. Probably a little set of turning. Yeah. And so, have you ever seen the Earth from that perspective in outer space with the 23.4 degree tilt? Wait, you're saying like, if your eyes were in outer space, your own physical organic well, eyes... They have, like, images. You think those are all doctored? Well, it is kind of, it is kind of weird. So, what made you start this podcast? So, you have a podcast, then? I have a YouTube channel, and I just like sharing people's public opinions about this, because it is very, very challenging for a lot of people. Would you agree? I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I err on the side of, I mean, public schools have a pretty standardized curriculum of what they want to teach people. Mm -hmm. We're all told that that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And I err on the side of, we probably are unaware of a ton of different things in the world. Yeah. That we're could, just told otherwise. Could that be akin to growing up in, I don't know, a church? And then you go to that church all the time. That's a brochure. It's very interesting. Perfect. So you probably just need one. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay. I guess, well, it depends on, because some people grow up in churches, but they still can are able to question everything and, like, look at other sides. For Like, for example, myself. Okay. I feel like I've looked into a lot of different religions and different things and mm -hmm. different evidence and whatnot. So, but if you're not that type of person, if you're not, like, a, like, I don't really have an opinion on this, but I'd love to know yours. Yeah. So, like, I feel like if you're not like that, you would very easily just fall into, here's what I was taught, and this is what the masses believe, and... Just go so, along and so go to just, work. Yeah, so let's just go along with it. So, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. So, what, what, um, would you, can would you probably lean more towards you living here? Wait, say that again? So, this, these are allegedly images of Earth from space. These are NASA.gov. These are two different ones? These are two from different NASA? images from NASA, yeah. Interesting. So you do you see a discrepancy between the two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What would that be? Well, yeah, obviously, like, what size everything is. Yeah, what size is America? So. Well, isn't it only, like, the fifth largest country? Um, that makes it look like it's... Yeah. <laughs> the biggest. Yeah, I kind of had a little bit too much turkey dinner one yeah. time, you know. So if we were to look at these and then we were to look up, you know, a guy named um, Rob Simmons or a guy named Math Powerland, they admit that they painted these. And here's your blue earth. Blue marble is what it was called when your iPhones first came out back in the early 2000s. And so when you turned on your iPhone for the very first time, because it was the first touchscreen phone, mm -hmm. this is what you saw, this image right here. But then if you look on the bottom left... Hmm, you can see, like, duplicated... Clouds. Clouds. What are the chances between... 
one hour and another that you would ever, ever see duplicate clouds. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So, do you believe that NASA has been lying to us? I think that there's a lot of circumstantial evidence to show that they use harnesses, augmented reality, and green screens in the ISS. Hmm. And you see, you notice, you know how they always do like spacewalks and stuff, like mm -hmm. with the ISS. Why is it that they don't take a page from submarines and the Navy? Because you never see the Navy do water walks. They're always inside a submarine, and they mm -hmm. fix things inside the submarines. They wouldn't go outside. Mm -hmm. to fix the submarine on the exterior because they put all the important stuff on the inside. So the reason why they do spacewalks, hey, take, take care. The reason why they do spacewalks is because it creates drama and it creates the idea that they're really in outer space. But if you were to investigate, mm -hmm. there is a life-size exact duplicate of the ISS. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And, uh, and a giant water tank. Mm -hmm. And they practice all of their spacewalks in a giant water tank under, underground, underwater. Mm -hmm. And we've noticed that there are bubbles that come up from the scuba divers that are around the, quote, astronauts while they do their spacewalks. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it is, it is kind of just fascinating. Well, I do. Um, I yeah, I have one. Uh, do you like mixed tapes? Uh, yes. Hey, there you go. Yeah, so, have that. So, this. so that has a bunch of different videos on it. You can share. Yeah, go for it if you want. Um, but that has a bunch of um, videos of evidences to show that there might be some discrepancies about what we're just being told about where we live. Cool. So it's a lot to take in, you know, but a meal takes no. time to digest, right? No, I love it. I love learning. I mean, I love learning different religions and different mm -hmm. opinions and... I always believe if if I'm being told something, and there and there's people saying that you can't dispute them, well, let's try. It. Yeah, it's good just to do it for spite. Yeah, well, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like I don't know. I don't really feel comfortable with the idea of in every public school we're taught the exact same things and we're told not to even question it, despite there being different opinions, mm -hmm. and different evidences. Frankly, so, yeah, cool. right. Exactly. Would you ladies like some water? I would love a water. Yeah. Okay. Share it out. I will recycle it as well. No okay, worries. We'll Go for it. Yeah, please. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. You're a good yeah, listener. What was your name? Joshua. Joshua Josie. Josie. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So yeah. Josie and the Pussycats, huh? Yes. Cheers. See ya. Yay! Are you guys promoting the idea that the earth is flat? Or what? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. What are they? How you say they? You prove or something? You got a, this one. Well, we um, well, this is supposed to be the solar system. Uh, <coughs> we kind of use the lake as a reference point because water always seeks its level, and we also this is how we determine level is by using a oh, level, sure. level just mm -hmm. plain water. Because water is real stubborn, it just it seeks its level and it, it won't stop until it finds its level. And so this is why we we don't believe that the water curves around a round ball. We think that uh, the water has to be level. And so you know this is why we believe the Earth has to be flat. Yeah, I hear a lot of the hear explanation that the media they show that the air the airplanes travel from one country to another or overseas. They said sometimes it lands some place that is not there according to the map. It's not the, the, the direction of that that area, right? For example, I hear the emergency landing. They travel from uh, I think it was New York to England, and they say landing in Canada. Something mm -hmm. like that. So yeah, something there. like Alaska. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a woman I think that got pregnant, mm -hmm. and so if you look at Flight paths, they just make more sense on a flat plane because even air company, even airplane companies want are kind of like restaurants. You guys go to restaurants, right? Yeah. So what do the what does the server want most for the her patrons or his patrons do? More expensive. Give give a good tip, obviously, but they want them to be out of there within forty five minutes. 
because then they can turn the table right. and get n- new people to come in, right? That's why they keep coming back and saying, yeah, right, exactly. So if it's a busy night, like a fri- like tonight, for example, much like airplane companies do the same thing. They want the most direct flight route from one point to another so that they can turn the airplane around and go back or go wherever it needs to go. So where would Antarctica be then? If this is, the, okay, if this is a flat Earth, so South America and everything is at the same level, would this be Antarctica down here or what? Here's a, here's a flat earth map, and, you know, one theory is that the Antarctica is not really a continent at the bottom of a ball, but rather that it surrounds the, the um, rest of the world. You, you know, if you, if you Google um, Antarctic ice wall, you see that there's a 200-foot steep kind of cliff, that, uh-huh. and so the idea is that would hold the oceans in, and then... The North Pole is at the center, so that's how we how we navigate by means of the compass that uh, points to the North Pole. Oh. So, that's interesting. And yeah. then um, I've never heard that. Uh, the, he was talking about how you know the flight paths, and if you see a flight path on a flat Earth map, then it'll be going straight. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you look at it on the on the round ball earth map, then it, it describes a very peculiar kind of pattern like this. Why would you go up like this? Like you were talking about how they would stop in Canada on the way between what, New York and... Yeah, yeah. So this doesn't make any sense. But then if you look at this other, other and this does make sense. It's direct on a flat earth map. Huh. I can think of other reasons why they might go out of their way because, like I said, they have more, get more, um, like, why do we get, go to, there's those cheapest flights available out to Canada and then Mexico when we're looking at Mexico. Uh, if you don't mind t- spending 12 hours on your <laughs> Yeah, I bet. But yeah. I'm like, why would they do that unless it's, like I said, connections or something? I, don't, I guess I don't know much about it. But yeah. Did yeah. you know that an airplane that is refueling is not counted as a stop? So the, the airplane can land somewhere and refuel mm. and not let any passengers off. So it's almost like this psychological game that aer- aer- mm. airports use. I think we did that when I went to Hawaii. We stopped only for fuel one time. That mm-hmm. was a lot of years ago. Okay. Do you know what today is? <laughs> July 1st, 20, July 20th when the first, uh, the moon landed. Oh, that, yeah, yeah the anniversary. It's the 50th anniversary. What do you, do you think, what is your theories on that whole thing? I personally don't think that the moon is a rock that we can land on. I think it's a light in the sky, and it's not anything that is physical that anyone has ever ventured to. We don't believe they've ever been there either. Oh, yeah. Oh, they they may have tried, but we don't think that's made it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, we haven't think about, you know, what is the... Uh, uh, we think about, you know, what the moon is always in, in one position that it never moves. It rotates mm. like this one, but... Never move like I saw the well, it remains like, facing the same yeah. side facing the earth. Yeah, that's why I think, like, why is like that? And you know, the other thing is, like, I've been watching videos about the, the sun, how mm. far is from us, or how, how far is it so far. Sometimes you see the, the sun, sky the and the, the lights coming in, yeah. So there's a so it's crepuscular like, ray. It's so called a crepuscular ray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a, what if this? Know, what if the sun was ten or twenty miles away from us? It's like, seem like when you look at the sun, is you know, like a, like a sphere. When you see the reflection, the sun, the sun in the clouds, the clouds. It's, yeah. It looks like it's so close because you, you see it's supposed to be so light like this, straight, but it looks like it's spraying different directions. Yeah. So. Hmm. <laughs> All I know is why. I know why do they? I mean, if they, I was surprised that they just put that film out on, I know. Uh, in the science museum. Mm-hmm. About this whole landing thing, when it's like, I thought it was kind of almost like something everybody knows, even though maybe they don't talk about this certain company. I just, I mean, because there's been so many jokes about it and everything, and, um, you know, about the films and the shadows and all that, yeah, and the, and the flag, why is the flag coming? <laughs> there's no wind there, right, right, or something, supposedly, but yet they have the flag you know, flying. I mean, we, we kind of 
seen all that, and, yeah. and the, it, it just blows my mind that they made that movie at the, or that they show the movie at the science museum. But yes. I don't know. <laughs> this looks like aluminum foil and duct tape and coat hangers. You know, it's just a flimsy kind of contraption, and they're claiming that that's the new lunar module. Module. There's a um, interesting documentary done called "A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon." And it shows some very, very interesting evidences that it was literally a production. And have you ever seen the movie The Shining? Yeah. Yeah. You know who that was done by? No. Stanley Kubrick. He was the director? Yeah. Oh. Who was rumored to help do the fake moon landing movie? <laughs> I would <laughs> totally imagine. That yeah. It's just, although they made mistakes that, you know... Here I don't see the same kind of like shadow mistakes and stuff. I don't know, you're the one that kind of watched the movie. Yeah, when, when I saw you know, the theories about, you know, how the shadow reflection of the, the shadows on the, and you know, the pictures come in so clear and so, yeah. so, like, so much light in there. So it's like, well, I even mean, with that right there, where they landed it on the moon, there should be a divot from the rocket propulsion yeah. Yeah. should show a divot in you're the right. middle. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It didn't even disturb the dust. Didn't even disturb it. <laughs> so I think they put clues in there because this place has to tell on itself, you know? Oh, okay. It has a karmetic idea to it where they can lie, but they have to do it in such a way where if people are looking into it, they can see okay. between the lines. But when mainstream media says the opposite, well, mm -hmm. like Dick Nixon said during this time... The American public won't believe anything until they see it on TV. Mm -hmm. How how true is that now? <laughs> well, that's so, interesting. Yeah, it's something sure. to think about. You know, yeah, appreciate you stopping. Thanks. Do you ever go on YouTube's? Oh, that's these <laughs> two. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I got a YouTube channel. Maybe you can just oh, stop no. by. Oh, uh, okay. Authentic okay. intent. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Huh? All right. I hang out here and do this often, so I'm often around the like. Bidet Makaska area. That's how it's pronounced. Yeah. Bidet? 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 Bidet Makaska. Makaska. Oh, I wasn't too far off. She knows what it means again. I forget. White Earth Lake in Dakota. Okay. I knew it was Indian. Um, Native American, but I wasn't sure what it meant. Really appreciate okay. you stopping by. being well, no, such no wonderful people. You're open to, you know. Yeah, I was, in, yeah. I was curious. I'm like, I don't every, <laughs> every day see you. Yeah. 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 I haven't been stopping. here that often anymore. Right. Like, okay. I used to live near here when I was younger. Come on, Giovanni, let's go. All We're right. going to go see if we can catch a um, paddle boat if they run out. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Have a wonderful <laughs> night. Thank you. you Take too. care. Come on, Giovanni. Uh -huh. Yeah, great. Very exciting. We don't want to go on a paddle boat. I pray he gets healed. Wouldn't that be amazing just to give him the freedom to walk? Without an implant, Elon Musk? Right. How you doing? So is uh, Flat Earth fake news to you? Yeah? Want to talk about it for five minutes? He was wearing a NASA shirt, so... You're a, you're a target. An overarching target of a rocket going like this into the ocean. Got to catapult the propaganda. Yeah. It would be nice to have, like, a wireless microphone, though. How is the stand-up there, though? And then anybody who wants to come by, you know, have you sit at the table, you know. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? Good. We're just what here, like, is? probably many people are wondering what your table is. Yeah. Because your people here. Yeah. Like are, are you wondering if the water's free? Uh, actually, no. no. <laughs> okay. Would you like a water? You can have one if you want. Is it free? Of course. No, I'm good. But thank yeah. you. I think all water should be you free. You have to agree that the earth is flat. Yeah. Exactly. That's fair. <laughs> Be gone, otherwise. 
So, okay. what do you think, um, my sign, it's... Some interesting questions. Yeah, would you like to check out a brochure here? I think I'm good. Okay, I, yeah. yeah, fair enough. Okay. Thank you, though. Yeah, so, what do you think about the sign? It says, what is fake news to you? Is that a question for us? Yeah, I mean, it's there, right? Yeah, what is fake news? I think anything that's not fact-based statement, right? What, and what would it be a fact-based statement? Like, what source could you cite that would be fact-based? Oh, all sorts of things. <laughs> Either... Mm. CNN, Fox News, oh, like, .gov. I don't think any news source is completely 100% true almost the whole time, right? <laughs> they all do say the I, Earth is a ball in outer space, though, that's right? Fair. Yeah. I think of it as a thing that is... Generally uh, supported uh, via can find other re external sources that support that information uh, that are generally peer reviewed. Ideally, if I'm going down to the the lowest level, mm -hmm. um, but again, that doesn't really fully fit when you're referencing. Uh, did X Y Z happen in country across the world? Because that's mm -hmm. that's a different question, right? Okay. So when you're referring to, so that's the question of like what you're defining as news or what, like what context you're referring to okay it's, it's very dependent on what information we're talking about yeah. same deal of like uh when somebody is talking about generalizing views or emotions or perceptions onto a populace that's again a different set subset than uh than uh a thing that happened in a worldly event versus uh, a science event that would be more the peer review direction, right? Mm. So you're talking about a whole bunch of different types of categories. <laughs> okay. Are there, um, would there be a group of people that have a conspiracy over another group of people right now? Generalizable? Sure, probably. But that's, that's from a, that's from a lack of, that's from a, there are so many people in the world, right? Like, yeah. I don't know what your question is. Well, I mean, but also, yeah. Really just wanted to know what the table was for, and now I'm intrigued. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, um, I went by, and I'm like, oh, what's this? Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I didn't, yeah, my, my, I didn't intend to drop by and do the... No, I like to talk about anything and everything, because I think that talking and having open dialogue and not being in an echo chamber of social media is important. Right. Because I think that they have started to pigeonhole people that have ideologies that go against mainstream new people don't hear about those things because the YouTube, for example, has said certain topics are unauthoritative because they do not prescribe to, quote, conspiracy theories. But my point about asking if there's a group that has a conspiracy over another group is fake news on the news December 24th is quite prevalent because they say that Santa Claus is coming to town and then they show a radar depiction of Santa Claus going across the earth. And so you will never hear on mainstream news ever that Santa Claus is not real. And it's even promoted in movies that Santa Claus is real. So even, even adults have a conspiracy over children. Because I've experienced this myself, that if I was to say Santa Claus isn't real with a group of children and parents around, I get looked at as if, like, they're going to rip my arms off and beat me with them. So I, I have a question for you. you know? So you mentioned the echo chamber of social media. And I yeah. agree. That is a very dangerous thing that goes on. Mm -hmm. um, but then I bring to the point of how do you guys go about um, organizing and sharing information amongst each other? Is it a similar social media platform? Do you use things like Facebook and Twitter for similar purpose? Um, no offense, YouTube. Um, I don't care about them. I care about you guys. That's why I'm here. Because I know that there is compartmentalization, and everybody on YouTube that I am a part of know that the earth is flat, right? So I'm, I'm preaching to the choir. Well, you're, you're from the no, I'm not. I'm saying I'm preaching to the choir if I'm going to sit in a chat room and talk about flat earth with a bunch of flat earthers. We need to get out there and show people why we think the earth is flat, and that's because water lays level and flat. And it can be measured over a distance with lasers from point A to point B, that water lays level and flat, and there's no curvature. I, I appreciate the in-person so. idea of spreading your ideas. It's really cool. I also would like to point out that I think the flat earth thing came about predating social media and, and internet, right? Um, flat earth versus round earth has been something that's been debated for hundreds of years. So 
I don't know if social media is skewing it as much, right? <laughs> What's the, well, how long have people thought the Earth was uh, flat until they thought it was a ball now? Do you happen they, to know? Uh, mm -hmm. Around the time of Archimedes, that they would see ships go over the horizon and they would go, they would go below. They'd see the bottoms disappear first, but the tops. Okay, why do you think that is? Because of the curvature of the Earth. And then as you go over the curve, the bottom of the ship will go away first. Okay, I see a snickering. No there offense. No, friends. her. Oh. She's snickering, and there is actually a scientific reasoning behind that. Would, would you like to hear it? Sure. So, earlier in the morning, when the water temperature is at equilibrium with the temperature, the air temperature, you can see things further because the sun hasn't been beating down and, uh, and evaporating the top part of the water to allow the compounding water vapor over a distance, over, you know, an extended distance. Okay. So, if you observe something with a high-powered zoom lens, you can actually bring that object back into focus, and it could be 20 to 25 miles away. But what about the times where they've seen that happen at night? Yeah, and so at night, when the sun has been beating down on the surface of the water, mm -hmm. there's more water vapor that's being evaporated because the temperature of the water is greater than the air temperature. So you're and saying so it's, it's evaporating. Equilibrium, but at the same time... No, I, I don't think you heard what I said. So I'm saying earlier in the morning, like at 5 in the morning, you go out and we make an observation of something traveling further away from us, we can see it. And it will travel away from us because there's a convergence point regarding perspective. Because mm -hmm. our eyes can only see so far. Right. Right? Okay, so if we were to make that same observation so later on in the, the day. Water and letting us drop at your table? Yeah, so you don't want to hear the scientific explanation of why things disappear from the bottom up? I think I heard the intro. I think that's good. We're I not, think we're I'm good. Yes, nice I really, we we're just wanted to drop by and see the team. Yeah. So also, thank I should, you. I hope okay. I'm not being rude. Yeah. I'm just trying to have a good day. Okay. Bye. Probably see you again. Maybe we can talk again in the future. Yeah, I think thing. The, the important thing is that, you know, when when it does, you can go up to Lake Superior, and that's big enough so that you can see a shape, ship disappear. But if you get a zoom lens, you can bring it back into focus. In other words, it didn't go over the curve. You just, it just it's a vanishing point. Into the, what if you use a camera with a wider lens that can capture more light and view it further, and you see that same thing of it disappearing? It will disappear because of your perspective, and you can't see things forever. Like, why do you think you can see things forever? I'm not saying I think I can okay. see things Okay, but if... if camera is being able to capture enough light... That's all that you, when you see something disappear over that distance, it's the light bouncing off of it back to your eye. So if you're using an aperture wide enough to capture enough light to reach it all the way back well, see, to that but distance. That, that argues against what you're saying, because what you're saying is that it disappears over the curve. Mm -hmm. What we're saying is that it just disappears from our vision. Right. And so, you know, you use the both zoom lens and, and it does reappear. It didn't go over the curve. Because there isn't a curve. But I'm asking if you used a wider lens and you saw... We it. are using wider lens. We're using a P1000, which is the highest optical zoom lens available to civilians right now. It has a 125 optical zoom lens. Okay. Nothing on the market right now is more powerful that a civilian can observe. So then you'll agree that after a certain distance, it goes beneath the horizon and does It does not go beneath it. it. You lose it because of your perspective. No, not my perspective. The camera's. Whatever. It's not so, because of the curve. Because a camera wouldn't be able to bring it back if it went over a curve. In the first right. place. So yeah, it would, so it would it go be away. invisible. It wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to get no exactly. camera. Exactly. It would go away because that's, so, what, that's the point of Because of perspective. Years. And no, the convergence point of the ground and the sky meeting together. This is taught to you in ma in art class. The line of convergence. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Okay, so what is the circumference of your ball earth that you believe you live on, if you don't mind me asking? I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, um, the radius? I don't know. So if you were to know, we could come up with a curvature calculation. I mean, Archimedes is the same thing. No, he didn't, no. Yeah. That's, so what you're saying is you're going to trust people you've never met before hundreds of years ago, allegedly, that, that did something. Math. Have you verified it? That math works? Yes. Have you verified it? That everything in math works? No. Yes. Math does not create reality. You can use it to make observations. Math is based off of reality. No, it's not. How? Because you can't see forever. We're, I'm not and you don't, how far is the sun away? Uh, about seven minutes away 
using the in miles. Device. In miles, how far is it away? By mainstream science standards. You're gonna trust. I'm just kidding. That was rude of me. Uh, I don't know how far the wind is. Okay, well, you would have to agree that it's 93 million miles away. How have you verified it being 93 million miles away? I haven't. Okay, so you have to take mainstream science as word for it, right? I'm gonna trust people who spent a lot of time researching this. Okay, uh, is that any different than a person saying, "Well, I believe the Bible because somebody wrote the Bible and they taught me the Bible." Oh yeah, that's that's not different. It's completely different because that's a book that was written by people a while ago. So are your science books of Archimedes written a, a while ago? But those, but those things that they write in the math books are repeatable. So how have you repeated the sun being 93 million miles away? Because of the distance it takes for a solar eclipse to go over the sun. As far as math goes, um, if, if I tell you that I have $4 million and I, I spend $2 million today, mm -hmm. How much money will I have tomorrow? Probably two million dollars. But you see, I don't have four million. I and I didn't spend two million today. Yeah, in other on. words, the math works out. <laughs> the math works, but yeah, just ignore him. He wants to ignore us. So. I'm, I'm sorry. There's a dog. I will talk to you. <clears throat> yeah, because you've never seen a dog before. Maybe you should just carry on. Is that a, is that hey. a pit bull? I'm not obligated no, to. You're being a bit rude. I, mean, I am I'm being a bit rude be, because. I'm trying to be cordial with you. No, you're not. This I is. I know I am. I'm not raising my voice. This right. is you right here. I'm not obligated to give you any answers. If you want to so believe you live on a spinning ball, that's fine. Hey, you do not have a teachable spirit. I'm trying to be so maybe you should go away. Polite. I don't okay. need your politeness. You just were not polite by petting a dog that you've never seen before. Yeah, but I like the dog. Like, oh, I do that all the time. Oh, yeah, good for you. Well, could you give us a reason to believe that the Earth is a round ball? Yeah. That's the thing I just said about the Other people. Ships. Your your faith that you have in other people. The thing I said about the ships, the... I just told you. I just told you the scientific reasoning behind that. How airplanes work. No, I, airplanes... Air, that's why they're called airplanes, because they're flying over a plane. They're spelled differently. No, they're not. No, they're not. Type it in. Go go Google your Google God and ask the Google God whatever you need to ask it. Or Siri or whatever. I use like a homebrew search engine. I'm sure you do. Yeah, because they're all different. Because they're not tracking you. They're not doing anything nefarious behind you. If you want to continue to believe what you want to believe, go ahead, man. Okay. Well, I appreciate you guys coming out here to speak to your voice. I'll be as a great evening. Yeah, don't act like you're better than us by complimenting. Have a nice day. You break. Then they play the victim. Oh, I like the dog. You're being rude. Really? You just ignored her in the middle of a sentence. Oh, is that a dog? Can I pet your dog? I mean, give me a break, dude. <laughs> and then he plays the victim. <laughs> Why are you being so mean to me? Go play Fortnite. Yeah. You know how you can you can say all kinds of things about numbers. And yeah, I have two waters, and you take three from me. How many do I have left? Good one. Yeah, good one. Because you can't have negative one. But math works out. <laughs> right. The math works out then. That's an excellent example. Look at that sun just beat right on the flat water and come right up to the shoreline yeah. without bending. Right. Right. Okay. Hello, guys. How are we doing? Hi. Pretty well, thanks. Would you like an aqua? Yes, please. Yeah, go for it. some brand new brochures. You look a bit parched. just had them printed today, so... Yeah, what is it? You don't want to miss them. Did you know Earth's flat? Um, I think Earth's flat. What is fake news to you? What is fake news to you? Yeah, what is fake news to you? To me, fake news is that when you're going to saturate something, that doesn't not exist. Okay. Like what? Like, like Unicorns? Something doesn't happen when you just say that that thing happens and stuff like that. Like, um, like, like could you, you give me an example? When reporters make fake news. How so? Like, when they say something happened and that thing did not, did not happen at all. Like, um, maybe when Brian they, Williams? When they, give, when they give lies and shit, you know? Like, maybe Brian Williams saying he was on an Apache helicopter getting shot at and he really wasn't? Yeah. Uh, no. That's kind of a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so so what is this about? Uh, 
Earth's flat. You guys believe so? You guys believe Earth's flat? Yeah. See, we've got the, the lake back there to prove it. Because water finds it, seeks its level. Mm. So water will always lie flat. In, in fact, I mean, we use them in construction. You know, this is a bubble level. Yeah. All it is is just water. Do you realize that Earth... It's not like, you know, it's not like the same height. Yeah, some you have know, some things that are a little bit more higher. Boom. What about water? You're talking about water. Oh, it, it can stay somewhere that's like, it's not flat. Mm. Water's always flat. Water's always flat. Yeah. Unless and if it's not, it's it's, it's seeking its level, like a river, flowing river. Yeah. So if the oceans were, like you're saying, they should be always flowing because they're always coming around the ball earth and they're always moving. Yeah. What does that mean? What is 1927 to 1997? What what is that stand for? Yeah, so in 1927, before we had the te technology to fly up high enough to see the ball Earth, they started to predictively program the human race in 1927 at the beginning of all their movies by showing a globe Earth spinning. And then so in 1958 is when we came up with the rocket technology to, fl to, to get elevated high enough, but we didn't land on the moon yet until 1969, and so they were using that predictive programming in 1927. How long it was again? Yeah, that's how long it takes to, to change social norms. So. You guys have a good day. Thanks, man. You too. Yeah. No worries. I wonder if they know others around here and if they see other people of their religion, if they stop talking to us. Because once they saw that man in the white clothing, they quite abruptly dropped, stopped everything they were doing and walked mm -hmm. away. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Even subconsciously. Maybe, yeah. Just good maybe, observation. Maybe he has some authority over them, or they go to the same mosque and they might get a little talking to. So, what were you at that table talking about? Oh, we were just getting water. Yeah. Or even if it just prompted that that kind of thought or, or feeling, just just seeing someone. Mm. Quite interesting. You learn a lot about people being you know, out here and observing. Yeah. Mm hmm. There's a lot going on. I always try to spot the plain clothes cover. Yeah, yeah, right. But some some people who seem like them, they're not. Mm -hmm. They're just brainwashed. Right. NPCs just going along with the programming. They have no thought of their own. Brave man running around barefoot in that grass. So, with uh, with your shirt as flat Earth fake news, what? you have a NASA shirt on. What's flat Earth? So, what's the moon landing? Good work. Oh, good one. So you think the moon landing's fake, but the Earth is a ball still. Interesting. Yeah, I know, right? He's almost there, but you know, sometimes the ego just can't allow them to go over the edge. Just can't go over the edge. I just can't believe I believe this thing for so long. In like the space, the moon landing and stuff. Space? I didn't think the moon landing was real. But I believe in space. I never heard to you the question. And then I wonder, because I just figured that that's what they say, so long as you don't pay attention to it. I know. I just figured it. It said so long as we do.
Fool me once.